Hi, so this example um, looks at cropping. So we're just going to download the crop.py file. So when you click on the link in Sakai, it should take you to this folder and you just want to right click and download it and just save it in your folder where you normally save files for this class. Save crop. And then you want to start JES and in JES we're going to resize this just a little bit. So in JES we're going to um, open up the crop file which is in my 115 folder. So um, you'll notice this has some some um, more elaborate comments in it than the other code that we've looked at in the past. So the crop function you just pass it a source that is a file that you want to crop where you want to start cropping the start x start y and where you want to end and it makes an empty picture to copy onto called target loops over all the pixels in the source um, that you want to copy and over all the pixels in the target copying the color on there so it looks a lot like the copy function it's just we're copying onto this we're only copying some of the pixels onto this image that's exactly the right size so to do that we have to have an image to copy now this is not is not uh, making an image from a file it's being passed a, an image or a picture object so let's go ahead and create a picture object to crop so I'm going to do pick a file and in the media sources, I'm going to pick the swan picture from the slides. You can use whatever you want. So I'm going to get this swan and open it. And then I'm going to make a picture from that image. So swan equals make picture file. And I can show the swan and see that it's the, the image that we were looking at in the, in the slides. And so now I have a picture object that I've created and I can use this tool called Media Tools and select the Picture Tool. And I can choose a picture. I've only got one right now. If I had multiple pictures that existed currently, I could, I could select different ones. But I'm going to look at the swan picture. And what this tool does is it lets you explore the image. You can click around on the image in different locations. It'll tell you the RGB value of that particular color that you're clicking on of that pixel and the XY values for that pixel. So what I would use this for in this case is to figure out where I want to start cropping. So if I want to crop all the water around the swan and just want to keep the swan, I can click and I can go, oh, I think I'm going to go over, say over 50 and down 50. And then I'm going to click over here and see where I want to end. And I'm going to end at 400, 300. So 50, 50, 400, 300. And it's going to crop my, my swan to that size. I'm going to close that. Be sure to load your program. So I'm going to load crop. And now crop's going to return an image for me to, to, um, to use. So I'm going to say cropped swan equals swan. So I want to save or save that, that image. So equals crop, crop. <laughs> the swan, so that's the source, and I wanted to start at 50-50, and I wanted to go to, it was 400-300. So I'm just passing it the image that I want to crop, where I want to start cropping it, and where I want to end cropping it. And so I'm not showing anything in this, in this function, so um, I'm saving the cropped image in this new variable. So I can show the cropped, swan and I can see that I have a smaller image and it cropped it all the way around here and so that's how cropping works you just um, it creates an empty empty picture and copies onto it and it copies the colors onto it and then returns that image to you so that's cropping